So it's Danny Flexen here for Seconds Out. Delighted to be joined once again by heavyweight contender Michael Hunter. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm oh, very good. Thank you. Uh, we haven't spoken uh, since your last fight, obviously, in December on TV. Back in the ring after a year out. Only three rounds, but obviously you guys don't get paid for overtime. How, how did you find right. it? and What was it like getting back in there? Um, I think, uh, it was actually, you know, it kind of felt good, but the only thing is, is, it's very hard to, uh, you know, it's very hard to judge yourself when you don't, when you're not that active, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, I gave myself a, you know, a C anyway for the whole performance, but, uh, you know, it, it, I got to see where I was at. That's the, that was the most, uh, most important thing. So. And then not long after that, it was uh, the IBF decided to put you forward for an eliminator for their title uh, with Philip Hergovic. Before we talk about that in itself, how refreshing was it that one of the sanctioning bodies has now kind of uh, seen how good you are, how good your form has been and decided to actually put you in the mix for these belts? Oh, it feels good. It's a blessing, um, like you said, because there's a lot of work that, that you know, that needs to be done and for them to recognize me and uh, to see all my hard work pay off like that is, is uh lets me know, you know, I was going places. So I, I really truly uh, like the IBF and hope they, uh, you know, that we continue to work together. And apparently uh, initially it was going to be you and Charles Martin, but he had some sort of injury and, and dropped out of contention. And then Hergovic came into it. Who's, not fought at the same sort of level as Charles Martin, but at this stage of their respective careers, looks like the tougher challenge, perhaps. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I would kind of agree with that. What What do you make of Hergovic? What, how do you assess him? Have you seen much of him? I think he's all right, but I definitely, like you said, we all know that, you know, you guys are looking, they're looking for a test. And I think that... Uh, he gonna, he not going to pass this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good to hear you sounding so confident. What, what's the situation at the moment with that fight? Are you guys, uh, teams negotiating? Are there purse bids scheduled? What's the, what's the deal? I w you know, well, we're, we, uh, it's kind of hard to say, you know, um, they've, they've been kind of really, really, really quiet at the moment. Um, uh, yeah, they've been very, very quiet. Uh, I don't know what's going on. So, you know, usually when, when somebody's quiet, it's something, something in the works. So, uh, but I'm just waiting, you know, I'm waiting for them to give me a call. Uh, it's actually, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be hearing from them soon. Uh, that, you know, there obviously there's a lot of deadlines and a lot of things that have to be done. Uh, and people need to, uh, the, you know, the IBF and the sanctions are not going to wait. So, uh, eventually, you know, uh, the fight has to be made. So, I'm just patiently waiting. And you're kind of in pole position. You're the mandated guy. As I said, originally it was Martin, now Hergovic. If he doesn't want that fight, then it's next available contender for you. You're not under any kind of threat to move from where you are. That's right. That's right. Just put the fight up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let me get this dude out the way. I know that uh, I one thing is is one thing that they can't fool me on that they say that he's a big puncher and we know that he's not a big puncher. I've been in the ring with, you know, the Klitschko's before, you know, that was a thing, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, I, I, I really think they're going to have a rude awakening, uh, you know, whenever that date comes. So, uh, and I think that they know it. I think, Matt, I think, uh, Eddie wants to make the fight happen, but I, you know, I, I think that Sarlin and, um, and them need to make it a little bit more strategic. Uh, you know, I think uh, they'd be gambling, gambling really heavy on this one. Although your position is secure, is, is there an element of frustration at how long you have to wait? Because you've just got back in the ring after a year out. Presumably you want to get back in again as quick as possible. Yeah, I would like to, uh, you know, you know, I, I just got to exactly. I would like to even, you know, I, I've had to wait and wait. And, you know, I, I, I think I would 
uh, there should be some type of rule or something. If, if, uh, you know, it goes past too many people, then I should be able to get my tune up because, uh, you know, this has actually been a prolonged situation now. Um, and I've been ready to fight. You know, that's all I've what ever wanted to do anyway is be consistent and fight on a regular basis. And, um, you know, it's very hard to do so, you know, in this, in this world is very, if you look at my career, uh, I've been very, very, very inactive. It doesn't make it no, it doesn't make any sense how inactive I've been when I'm, uh, you know, uh, we've been to the Olympics. I have this type of pedigree, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, you should be very active. Um, but, and, and nobody could say that is because I was, you know, with my, with, I wasn't with anybody because I, I went with the zone. I've been with uh, PBC, you know, so uh, I've had more fights being a, you know, uh, a lone wolf, uh, you know, doing it for my own than, you know, um, than I've ever had. So, uh, And you're an entertaining you know, fighter to watch as well. Say again? I said you're an entertaining fighter to watch as well. It's not like you have a negative style or anything like that that would stop people working with you. So it is strange that you've been so inactive. Yeah. So, you, um, you know, but you know, this is, these are the, you know, I don't make the rules. I just, I need to play them, but, uh, I'm just waiting for them to give me a call and let's make this fight happen. I know that, uh, you know, they have a lot of things going on. I know Eddie has his own fights, uh, you know, other fights, bigger fights that he's trying to worry about. Um, you know, so uh, I think this is going to be, I mean, I don't see this being that much of a fight. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a fight, but, you know, we'll see.